Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, follow Deputy Knock on that because I think he hit the nail on the head and he certainly, you know, has a great knowledge of that department and he certainly, as he told us at the meeting last week, if he was there still in that department, I don't believe this situation would occur. But when we sat down with the unions last week, we said straight away, this is about 150 workers. It's about the permanent and the seasonal staff. And you can imagine seasonal staff, what happened in recent weeks to them. That bit of money to pay for children going back to school, that bit of money to subsidise the land, that bit of money to keep them going for the autumn and winter. And that money is pulled from under them just like that. And if we as a group, we went as a group of politicians and we said we will fight this together. Deputy Fitzmaurice, Deputy Nocton, Deputy Troy, Deputy Cowan and all of the other politicians. And I want to acknowledge the fact that we have the chairman of Roscommon County Council, Pascal Fitzmaurice here, and the chairman of Longford County Council, Michael Carrigan here, and we have a number of councillors. This is catastrophic for this community in Longford and Roscommon. It is catastrophic for Lanesburg, for Scrama, for Tarman Barry, for Strokestown, and for all of Bally League. And this is like affecting not 150 people, it's at least affecting seven to 800 people. And this has got to be stopped. And we're not going to have the culling of workers here in rural Ireland. And whatever agenda, 